Oh, squirrel shoot. Squirrel shoot. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he just keeps going. <laughs> nice. That's badass. <laughs> right in there. Ah. Yeah. Man, you don't even get a chance to get onto the battlefield, man. We got a little oh, bit. yes, Hurricane. I love it. It's like a ride. You got the tornado coming in. I think it's a sniper rifle. Oh, no, definitely a sniper rifle. I've done so many total recoils, you, you think I wouldn't know it by now. Why don't you know? Mm -hmm. Why don't you know? Uh, I have a head injury. I can't remember things. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Experts React. We are glad to be back with you. I am Azure Wright, former Green Beret. With me, as always, the very handsome Cameron Fath. What's going on, everybody? Today, we are super stoked because we're going to be taking a look at some clips of multiplayer from Battlefield 2042. Now, before we dive in here, we got something we want to let you all know about. We wanted to let you know about Gameology's new channel, Gameology Forecast. This is an all new channel dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about the world of video games. Have fun whilst learning, you don't say. Who would have thought? Jam packed with never before seen quality content from Gameology, you'll see wonderful things such as tips, tricks, and hacks for that one game that you have been struggling on, amazing top tens videos, discovery compilations of new and hidden gems, reviews of newly released games, and more. Also, don't forget to check out Gameology's other channels such as Send News full of VR games and free games that you should absolutely check out yourself as well as Gameology Shorts, which is full of short but sweet video game videos that would fill your heart with joy. So there are potentially three brand new Gameology channels that you can go and check out right after this video, like right after it. And when you're speeding to check out these videos, go ahead and check out the description below for the links to those channels. Battlefield, here we come. Looks like we're in some Middle Eastern country just based off the, uh, uh, the architecture of this I love building. the unfinished, uh, we're going through this unfinished building. Yep. <laughs> Nice, AK platform, what is that? Looks like an AK-24. I mean, damn, that guy, this dude's putting in some work right now. I yeah. like how he does a little tactical reload. Yeah, what is the it, PMAX, we got P, look, PMAX to you. Do they have PMAX for the 762? They do have PMAX for AK, I'm not sure if those are directly PMAX. Oh, get sucked up, son. <laughs> My problem with, with a, a first person shooter multiplayer is, I get real pan, I'm good for like mid to long range, I get real panicky when I get up close. Yeah. You know, I'm like, ah, I'm spray yes, and pray. Real quick. Please let him hit. The only gripe with like video game reloads is, especially if you're not, if you haven't run the gun dry, it's like you have unlimited magazines to just like place oh, in yeah. the gun. Was that a paint gun? What did he just have? That He had like a short little stubby thing. I think he does that for healing purposes. I oh, like so. a stim like a Yeah, stim like shot a stim or shot or something. Okay. Oh, he does. Yeah, he's got it in his hands. Yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, he just shoots himself up. Nice. Those drugs, man. Get them. It's the drugs. Video game drugs. You got to be careful, man. Video game drugs are awesome. Yeah, and they are addicting. And they always are good. I mean, it's very interesting. It's especially like known threats that we face historically. Like, for example, in Afghanistan and Iraq, like that's full opium. So, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The reason why we're not just like the whole, you know, two to the chest, one to the head thing has just gone out the window. Is just because if you're fighting a force that's literally just hopped up on, you know, <laughs> a stimulant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, One bullet's that. not gonna drop them down. I think, what was it, World War II where the Germans started issuing meth to their troops? No kidding? Yeah, so it was either meth or some crazy stimulant and like you would have troops fighting for hours yeah. on it. Like could fight nonstop for a very long time. There's a lot of, you know, there's some, some certain solutions in a battlefield that you would never even consider in the civilian world or anything like that, but you know, that kind of given drugs, like, let's just try it out. Maybe, maybe it'd be helpful for our troops, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then you got, you got, days. and you got opium addiction. They get there these munchies, you know? Oh, what it's is okay. this, some sort of 50 cap? A hover, yeah. is that a hovercraft? That's Goosh. awesome. Dude, I love that. What That's is that? It looks like gun. he's got like a guardrail over the top of his Yeah, it could skull. be a handrail for, uh, just a carrying handle? Just carrying handle. I don't see any actual, you know, point to that thing besides carrying it. Is that a... Uh, oh, that's a big gun. Yeah, what is that? Trying to look? I can't even read it. I need Looks my like, glasses. Is it a 50 cal? It's yeah. got a side It has to be magazine. some sort of 50 cal sniper system. That's a heavy boy. Dude, I love the zip line, man. Going up the zip Going line. Going up the zip line. And I love I love the Arctic uh, landscape right here. That's awesome. Man. Look at them air dropping a tank in. Oh, you gotta like, is that like a, a orbital drop? Ooh, get wrecked, son. There's a lot going on here. 
I mean, it seems yeah. like this is a real fast pace online. The whole thing with this is meant to be like dozens and dozens, like 50 people on each side or something like that, you know? Just chaos, I love it. What is that? Oh, man. Some good shots. Who we got playing here? Do we know Do we know who the footage is from? Some Patriot. We got like a pot pipeline thing. You gotta watch out for those, you gotta, you gotta uh, defend those assets, man. Boom! Nice shot, man. I like that. I love the on the fly sniping. Yeah, it's extremely quick, extremely I wonder what Richard would have to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, you got one popping up. Take him. Oh, there it is. Nice. Looks like we got a SWS-10. Now, I have no idea what that kind of weapon system is. Oh! I think it's a sniper rifle. Oh, no, definitely a sniper rifle. I'm not sure what caliber it is, though. I've done so many total recoils, you, you think I would know it by now. Why don't you know? Why don't you know? Uh, I have a head injury. I can't remember things. Nice. There we go. <laughs> You know, shooting from the standing with a sniper rifle is pretty, you can do it, but especially when you're going beyond 20 inch barrels, like 24 inch barrels, you really want to find like a real solid shooting platform. Now that guy was just out in the open in the middle of the street, like he deserves to get shot. You should be up like a hide side or something like that. Sniping, especially bolt action in an urban environment, I would prefer a semi-automatic sniper like an M110 or an SR25, but you know, a bolt action in an urban environment, I'm gonna try to post up somewhere just cause that is gonna be, uh, my follow on shots are gonna take a lot longer to do just cause I have to work that bolt action. And then also, you know, I have limited ammo capacity. Yeah. There. So unless I'm rolling like a, a magazine fed bolt action, which maximum 10 rounds, I'm not gonna have a lot of ass behind me, but let's go. You know, this, the Battlefield 24 2 seems like, it's another, it's obviously fast paced arcade action. You let us know in the comments, does it lend itself to sniping? Is that, is that a popular uh, uh, form of engagement in this game? You know, in video games, you get to see a lot of, what if a sandstorm took over Dubai, you know? Yeah. We're in this giant stadium and it's just covered in sand. I love uh, these kind of like post-apocalyptic scenarios. What are we doing now? Just deploying from a helicopter? Oh, squirrel shoot. Squirrel shoot. I love that. Oh man. Yeah! Oh, he just keeps going. <laughs> nice, that's badass. <laughs> Right in there! Ah! That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then we got a tank. What is that, an M1 Abrams or what? Probably not, but just got rolling a mini gun on nothing. there. Oh, look at that Osprey. There's so much going on in this game right yeah. now. It's like you have to look everywhere. Your situational awareness needs to be extremely heightened. Yes. Brrr, rip them. around like a Tonka truck. <laughs> mini gun go burr. Yeah, mini gun go burr. Chaos, chaos. That looks like a like a contractor Humvee. Like they yeah. usually they when I was in Iraq they had they had contractors and they had Humvees and MRAPs, but they were always painted black. Oh really? So they was very obvious they were not the military, the private contractor. Yeah, contractor definitely. Oh, oh no, he glitched out. He's in the Matrix. Oh, now we're flying outside. Get some close air support here. Where Sector do you need us? Is under attack, comrade. Nice. You ever fired one of those? I, I never have did. The miniguns now. I've been next to the 160th when they're firing theirs, and man, it is exciting. Get some brass spray in your face. Yeah. Being underneath those is not fun, because that brass got to fall. Yeah. And uh, it gets all up in your kit, and it's molten hot, too. So you're sitting there, like, trying to get everything <laughs> out of your kit. It's like, <laughs> I've been there. Not with that big around, but I know what that's like. Me being left-handed, uh -oh. you know, it was, it, sometimes I get maybe a bit, bit more brass than the average right-handed shooter, you know? Yeah. Because I got that, it's just hit me in the face. Yeah, you're God's mistake, you left <laughs> My mom said I was special. My mom said I was special. I love the hovercraft, man. I wonder what the joy, I wonder what the decision process was like. You know what we need in this game? Hovercraft. Hovercraft. And they get oh, over no. sand, maybe. Get over ice, I suppose. Get over yeah, water. Yeah, environment uh, vehicle. All-terrain vehicle. Yeah. Doesn't the Marine Corps utilize something like this? I, I've never seen one in the Army, but I've seen pictures of like Marine and Navy utilizing I saw one it. in uh, Rumble in the Bronx, the Jackie Chan <laughs> action film. That was the only time oh, I ever saw the <laughs> Man, you don't even get a chance to get onto the battlefield, man. I got a little Oh, hurt. yes, Hurricane. I love it. Love the, uh, this, it's like a ride. You got the tornado yeah. coming in. It's the uh, environmental Woo! considerations. Yeah, let me just hop up on my parachute here while this uh, this tornado is going to send me flying. I do like how they have environmental considerations. That's not a thing that video games really incorporate nowadays. Is like environmental. You mean like rain, snow, yeah. fog? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So the fact that they just have a twister going on here. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty fun. Cool. Different aspect of it. You're not just fighting the players, you're fighting the environment as well. You ever been near a tornado? I have not, I'm uh, not from the you Midwest. Hear, you hear stories. You, you know? hear stories. What is that, is, what's that movie, Twister? Yeah, Twister, Bill Paxton. Yeah, 
He's just chilling, hovering. Love, he's got that updraft, obviously. You ever been caught in that? We did what's called, a, in training we did what's called a hey-ho, which is high altitude, high opening. Yeah. And so if you wanna, you open high, but you have a lot of traveling distance that you yeah. can cover. You pretty you know? much infill, yeah. undetected with a parachute. A couple of miles, yeah. yeah a couple you miles. get a couple of miles distance on that thing. Now, when we did it out in Arizona for training, we had the wind against us. We were walking for a long time, yeah. I mean, back to the back to the drop zone. But it's fun, man. You you open right away and you're just chilling, man. You're like you have like a little uh, belly compass, you know, so you can check which direction yeah, you're, you're at, going, you know, and you're just to navigate up there. Yeah. This dude's just lobbing hand grenades from his parachute. Nice. I love that. Very unlimited everything in this yep. game. Wow, man, a lot going on there. Uh, yeah, a lot. I need a nap now. I'm drained from watching <laughs> that. Just nonstop action. The situational awareness while playing this multiplayer. You need to be on a whole nother level. And you still might get capped. I mean, yeah. so you just gotta accept it, you know? If you guys enjoyed this video just as much as we did watching it, make sure to check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. If you wanna hear more from us, go ahead and check out the Pop Culture Field Manual podcast on YouTube or wherever you listen in two podcasts. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and check out my Instagram, Cameron C. Fath, or my streetwear page, Kick God Apparel. Folks, if you want to hang out with me some more, go over to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. But wait, we have some very exciting news. Israel and I have started our own YouTube channel called Shift Fire. It's an exploration and appreciation of all things military culture. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, we would really appreciate it. We'll see you next time, folks. Later. Cameron Fath. What's going on, everybody? My name is Cameron Fath, as I just said. So let's redo that again because I'm a f an idiot. I should have got an energy drink from you. Ah! <laughs> Send noobs. Send noobs. <laughs>